Hello and welcome back to the Poke 2019 Pokemon Duel World Cup. Today we have a Group C matchup between Japan and Team Asia. Let's take a look at the matchups we have today. We have number 20, MK Evans, versus number 112, AS Harsh. We have number 3, MKNOSR. Versus number 36, uh, 136, AS Star. We have number 11, Encaro. Versus number 97, AS Zio. We have number 14, Taya Mayama. Versus number 151, AS Hardy. We have number 44, TPJ. Going up against number 70, Fudbast. And we got number 25, Young Nam. Versus... Number 161, XTF Fika. Japan, the only team in this first round favored to win all six matchups here. So, let's... Yeah. What is up, guys? Earl Gaming YT coming back. And we are back with another World Cup matchup today. <sighs> it's my fourth one I'm recording today. <laughs> but, let's hop right into our first matchup. We have MK... Versus AS Harsh. We got the person putting in the code. There we go. As we are heading into the matchup here, let's take a look at this matchup. We have AS Harsh at 3,500 and MK Emmons at 4K. Japan has a lot of 4K players, so you gotta watch out for them. As AS Harsh brings out his Marshadow, will he take the he takes the entry point with Marshadow? He doesn't go for the he goes for the attack here, and he lands the 83 Mew. So the knockout there for MK Evans. So a good start for him as he brings Mew to the middle, and he counters by bringing Fracture to the middle. Mew goes up for the attack. Maybe a shuttle flip could be good for him. Try to take the entry point. He lands the 103 versus the 103. So a three chain level Mew on the Psychic. That's an interesting uh, thing we haven't seen before. And he bring, his evidence brings out his Feeny. Max revive AS Harsh. Uh, Max revived his Marshadow there. As Palplio goes onto the field. This is an interesting team run by AS Harsh. Or by MK Evans, my bad, with the double Palpio, double Tapu Fini team. As he will go up for the Palpio here against the Lunala. A lot of miss for the Lunala, Lunala and he lands the Sing. So that's very helpful for, there for MK Evans, forcing him to have to go block or uh, wake up that Lunala. He'll move his Sigalio over to the goal. As Routes moves to the other side of AS Harsh's goal. Brings out the Palplio, probably looking to take an entry point here. As he will. Probably go for the attack, maybe, too, against that Drift Loom. If he lands Sing, that's looking good for him. A lot of miss once again. He lands the dodge, though, so that's still not a knockout against uh, Evans here. So, as Evans has both the entry points with Palplio. And a dodge there for Marshadow. Not quite what Marshadow wanted there, with Papalio only hitting for 10 there with his attack. We got an attack going down here, hoping for a sing as he lands the dodge. Once again, an attack here, as that'll knock out the Papalio there. So good move by AS Harsh there. As he brings out the Tapu Fini, slides Lunala to the goal, attacks with Mew here, as Shuttle Flip, so nothing will really happen here. I don't think he'll move the Mew here. Mm -mm. He brings out the Sableye, this could be a good matchup up against that Fini. You got to be careful, though. Feeny can uh, strike with that Pony Wish, and he's sitting right on that goal. So if, uh, if Sableye wants to go, if he lands the Pony Wish here, that's going to be game over. Stupid move by AS Harsh here, as he's able to Pony Wish the Lunala, and Poplio will take the goal, and Japan takes a 1 0 lead against Team Asia. 
So a bad, bad misplay by A.S. Harsh there. Pauses him the game here as Japan takes a 1-0 lead. We'll head to see OSR here going up against A.S. Star. Once again, Japan favored in this matchup. OSR won the number three player in this tournament. One of the best as that uh, will knock both those figures out there. They'll move up with that Palplio. So Japan's, uh, Japan loves using that Palplio, the double Palplio last game, Palplio this game. And a Fibrava on the goal for OSR. Interesting team they're running there. I, I kind of like it. As they'll move down with the Gardevoir, he'll get attacked by the Lunala. And a Moon Guy Spin versus the Warpole, will, which will do nothing. As he breaks out the Mega Gardevoir, a star trying to get a quick banish here. Against this Lunala, is he able to land it? He is. Will he banish him, though? Yes, he will. So, a banish for banish there. So, I don't see anyone that can bring him back, though, is the problem for a star. So, he has lost his Gardevoir now for the matchup. Max arrive for star there as he brings out his Kangaskhan. X speed going down for... Marsh Shadow going up against that Palplio, which is a great matchup. And a dodge. Not what you wanted to land there if you're Marsh Shadow. As they go for the Hydro Vortex here. Again, uh, against that Palplio. And this is an automatic knockout there. So Palplio knocked out. OSR gets the knockout there. As Palplio will go right next to the Kangaskhan, but he will not attack. A Cyclone Kick will knock out the Kangaskhan and get OSR his plays again, as this is looking to be very good for OSR, as he can possibly move up with that Palplio and start to threaten game here. Start to rush a little bit. That that purple turns into a mish. Lands the Sing, so that Suicune is now sleeping. Inferno Overdrive here for the Kabuskin, so this could be pretty bad. Uh, hoping to land Sing that Palplio. Does he do it? No, he does not. He gets the free Evo with that Kabuskin. So now Star gets his blaze again. Star needing to get this win for Team Asia to tie it up at one apiece. OSR trying to make it a 2 to nothing Japan lead and take a commanding lead in this game. He will uh, spin again, and he'll land his Jet Kick. This will allow Star to move down to here. So, once again, this is looking kind of interesting here. Origin Pulse against a Shadow Sneak. So, that's going to be a knockout. And this could be interesting here. He's going to go for the Z move. This could be game. As he lands the Ice Beam. So, that freezes. Uh, Marshadow there. Does he Pokemon switch though? Is he gonna? He doesn't go for the attack. He does now. He lands the Sucker Punch, knocking out the Marshadow. That'll allow Fracture to just move up there. He'll move closer with the Fracture. Go against the for the attack here. This could be game, and that is ball game over. Or Game over, not ball game over. As he'll evolve to the Haxorus and win the game. OSR gives Japan a 2 nothing lead here against Team Asia. So just overall aggressive play by OSR forces him to have to attack his Fracture, which ends up playing to his strength. Now we got Enkero versus AS0 here. The 11th best in the tournament here with Enkero. This Japan team is absolutely stacked as they have all their players in this round, the top 45 out of 260 players. As a huge rush here for the Eevee, Air Balloon goes down, and he'll win the game! Wow! Holy crap! A 23-second a game. As Japan takes a quick 3 to nothing lead with that EV cheese right there. Huge, huge, huge win there as the best 
Team Asia can do now is tie. Now we have Tayamayama, the captain of Japan, going up against A.S. Hardy. Hardy in blue, Tayamayama and red. brings out the Sableye to go up against that Sigalio. That could be a good matchup there as he brings down that Cosmog. Twists his spoon going down for that Alakazam as that uh, Cosmog is sneaking towards that entry point and that goal soon, which could be trouble. There, as the cross counter knocks out that Tapu Coco there. That would be a smart attack if Palplia wanted to go up against that Cosmog. Because that would be a lot of miss. But he brings out his Alkazam to the right there, countered by Curlia. The attack by Palplio. A lot of miss there. And that's a sing right there that puts him to sleep. So that's basically rendering him useless for a moment. He brings down Kangaskhan. Goes for the attack, and the Night Day is going up against the face set. Uh, face aid, my bad. Will take a will knock out the Zorark, but that blue, the white becomes a miss now. As he's countered by that Palplio. Oh, and the miss for A.S. Hardy. As Teyamayama gets the knockout. With Alakazam, as he'll bring Curlio right back out, though. As he'll back up with Kangaskhan. Max survives um, that Tapu Koko just to wake up the Cosmog. As he'll go and attack that Palplio. Good, good move there. But a miss for the Tapu Koko. As Teyamiyama gets the knockout. Wait. Was that, oh, that was a miss for the Palplio. My bad. I read that wrong. He'll Z move here as that'll knock out the Sigalio and that'll burn uh, Sableye. He'll move over with that Cosmog. This could be danger. Teleport. Luckily, he landed with that Psy Shock, though, giving him weight. But he could go for a possible teleport win here in a couple moves. Gotta watch out. As that fast aid become a miss because of that night gaze. And the double edge versus the shadow sneak. So a knockout by Sableye there. But nothing happens there because of Kangas Khan's ability. He'll double chance here. This could be game. Tamiyama going for the win. Will he get it? Nebi Power versus the Dodge. So no, as he smartly covers up the goal. And Splash versus still, uh, still Bind. As that'll take away the movement point there from Tapu Koko for the moment, but then Cosmog gives it right back. Activate the Mega Sableye, get rid of the Burn Marker, and be able to go in attack here against that Tapu Koko. And gets the knockout there, so one down as he tries to Play a little bit of defense here against Tayamayama, captain of Japan, ranked number 14 in this tournament, going up against number 151. So these matchups really aren't that great of matchups for this uh, for this Japan versus Asia team, uh, versus Asia game. As Hardy tries to work his way around, the attack there, Psycho Switch for Power, which will Evo. That Curlia sending that Cosmog to the bench. We got a Garvar now, which may be a Mega Garvar, which has, that could be kind of dangerous. Surround kills that Kangaskhan. Or Alakazam, wow. I'm looking at the Kangaskhan right next to that by Brava, that's why. As he moves up with the Alakazam, attacks that Kangaskhan, and gets the knockout of Kangaskhan. Tameyama. Not looking the greatest right now. Has three Pokemon on the bench. Only his Vibrava on the goal. As he will confuse the Cosmog. That is huge, actually. That Cosmog's terrible and confused. 
landing either a splash or a dodge most of the time. He will move with that Mewtwo. He's going to go Shattered Psyche here against that um, Sigalio. That Sunsnow Strike, though, just gets the knockout for both of them, basically. As uh, Tapu Koko moves down, he gets attacked by that Zorark, which will get the knockout. Tamiyama not getting the greatest suspense right now. He will not attack with that Alakazam. That Alakazam will attack the Cosmog that lands the Nebi power going to the dodge. So not exactly what he wanted there. He needs that splash to go to that Nebi power. In order to get that Sigalio off the PC. But that does not work for him. Hardy looking very good in this matchup right now. Still buying, but that extra star there helped. As he's going to go for the surround kill possibility. As they're just going to simply max revive and surround kill the Alakazam. Bad move. By Hardy there, Tay and Miyama. As actually Hardy end up losing that game as Japan took a 4-0 lead. You saw at the end there, it said loss, so. 4-0 Japan. As we head to game five, Japan with a win in the bag. But are they going to be able to hold on? To maybe possibly sweep Team Asia. You're watching the 2019 Pokemon Duel World Cup. We'll be right back. Your electric go down? Your electric company charging you way too much? Call the electric Pikachu uh, the Pikachu Electric Company today. Call 1-800-PIKA-2 for the best electrical company in the Kanto region. The official electric company sponsor of the 2019 Pokemon Duel World Cup. We are back as we have game number five here. Uh, as we have TGP versus Fudge Pass. As a quick rush there by uh, TGP forces him to have to go block with that fracture and that speed deal, just able to take the uh, uh, entry point there. As this rush by GP, uh, TBJ. TGP is just too much right now for Fudge Blast. As that Mega uh, Gengar takes the entry point, he's going to long throw in his Kabuskin to go up against that. For, uh, to go up against, let's see, probably the Zorark. Absolutely. He will get the Cyclone Kick, though. So he gets the, uh, the play, plays again. I can't speak right now. So what happens when you record for a few hours straight. But, uh... He activates the washing machine here. And that does allow him to take the entry point here. Cyclone Kick knocks him out, though. So a little bit of a rush, but Fudge Bass able to handle it here. But a huge, huge underdog, 1,800 lower than uh, TPJ. 44-14, so he should actually be the number one ranked player right now. He moves up a little bit though. Max arrives. As we have the Astonish versus the Cross Counter as G uh, TPG knocks him out. As he surround kills with the, with the Speed Dio attacked uh, by the uh, Gus, uh, not the Gus, the Haxorus. I can't think right now. <laughs> but the attack going down here, let's see the X speed, and that will knock out the Haxorus. So smart move there by GPJ, a TPG, TGP. Moon guys beam versus War Pulse, so nothing will happen there. He's gonna try to go for the takeaway, and he lands the Sucker Punch. So nothing going in the way of Fudge Bass right now. 
Me activates the Mega uh, Ampharos here, which allows him to max revive basically his uh, Gengar as he starts to move down Wash Rotom. Activates this Z move for Wash Rotom here. This could be deadly. As he lands the Psychic against Hydro Vortex and gets the knockout Wash Rotom. While confusing that Gardevoir. As he just is starting to really surround him here. That Zorark gets knocked out by the Fracture though. But that will allow uh, TGP to move down with that speed deal and probably take the entry point. He gets attacked by Haxorus, and he does get knocked out. Tain level 10, though. I saw that 50. He attacks with the Lunala, and he will get the knockout here. Threatening game. This could be it. He will attack. Moon Guys Beam, and this is basically over. No, he does get the knockout with the Haxorus. So this game, he lives to spin another spin here. So... Yes, he has a double Haxorus playing defense right now. He recycles. That's an error as Fudge Blast lost that game. As Japan absolutely having their way right now with Team Asia. Five to nothing Japan as we head to our next commercial break. This is the 2019 Pokemon Duel World Cup. You thirsty watching this intense and interesting Pokemon Dual World Cup? Then grab yourself an ice cold Mountain Mew today, the official drink of the 2019 Pokemon Dual World Cup. Now, we head back to the action. We have Game 6 here, looking for the sweep. We have Young Nam versus XTF Pika. Team A's are trying to avoid the complete sweep here by Team Japan. Will they be able to do it here? As we have another quick game. These are a bunch of quick games by Japan. Very deadly team. As Marshadow takes the entry point. The attack by Zorark. Or Zerkatry. Not Zorark. And that will. put That will. Um, give him weight though. That brings Lunala. Allows him to bring Lunala up. Get a little pressure here. He'll probably go for the attack here. A double chance. Going for game here. Going for the sweep. The attack. And he will get the knockout. And this will probably be a game. Quick, quick win here by Young Nam. As this Japan team has come to play. As they will defeat Team Asia here. Doesn't matter what the spin is. Because that uh, Zor the Marshadow can easily... Just hop onto the goal. And Japan will sweep Team Asia 6 to nothing. This was kind of the only matchup where you could say, yeah, that makes sense. Because all six of these Japan players were favorite favorites in their matchup. And the best they had best team Asia had was a number 97 ranked, and all of Japan was in the top 45. So, that was a very expected finish, I think. Japan just taking care of business here, round one. Watch out for Japan. I would say they are definitely a favorite to make the finals. But that is going to do it from the Pokemon Duel World Cup here. The final score, Japan 6 and Team Asia nothing. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.